there are always going to be small groups of customers, including foreign governments, that need capabilities that aircraft manufacturers cannot provide economically. And that's where a company like XP Services comes in. They buy up former military aircraft like the Black Hawk helicopter that might be 30 to 40 years old, and they breathe new life into them. This starts with ensuring that they're fully certified for use and fitted with the up-to-date equipment needed to operate safely. We buy them surplus, we refurbish them, and, re, you know, and restore them. We upgrade the avionics, put modern digital avionics, remove the, all the old gyros that are failing, all the obsolescence issues, we try to remove those out. Put a modern glass cop with full four-axis autopilot. We're the only black hawk in the civilian market that has a full four-axis autopilot. We also add weather radar. In the U.S., you don't really need weather radar, you can use FISB. But most of our customers are overseas, FISB doesn't work, right? So we offer weather radar, we also offer EOIR sensor. If you see on here, we have several mounts on the aircraft, give you options. So you want EOIR on the nose, you want it on the sponson, you can go left or right. Uh, we work with people like Dylan on their machine guns. On this aircraft today, we've got a, you know, M134 on one side, and on the other side we have M240, just showing some of the things that we can mount on the aircraft. We also do a lot of training. We do door gunner training. We do pilot training, uh, certification of crew members as well. The Tennessee-based company mainly employs former military pilots, some of whom served in special forces in combat zones. They know what it takes to operate the aircraft in difficult environments. That might mean adding weapons or different types of sensors. But what if you need motorcycles on board? Right now, our main client for the motorcycle transport system, it's the MTS, is are the Special Operations Forces. They can fly the Black Hawk to behind enemy lines, let the soldiers ride the motorcycles off, and they can leave them and come back hours later, days later, whenever, and then they can land real quickly and they come on and come off. Literally, you're on and off in just a matter of seconds. We had a client call us one night and said, hey, can you build us something to hold motorcycles on the outside? The requirement from our client was, motorcycles will not fit inside, so we need motorcycles on the outside, and the door must still close. So our door will fully close, and you can still fly the aircraft with the motorcycles on the outside. Now when we come back and land, same thing. We land, as soon as we land, they come right up, and this rotates in, they lock their pedals down, they jump inside, slide the door closed, and they're gone. The XP team thoroughly tests everything they fit onto the aircraft to make sure it does the job and can be certified. Other modifications have included work to add new capabilities, such as relaying high-quality video between the air and the ground. So what you see on the back of the aircraft is the dome. It actually can transmit 4K video through the rotor and receive 4K video through the rotor. Technology-wise, this is only something that's came about in the last 12, 18 months where they've been able to design, because it's very easy for a fixed wing to put video up through, up and down to the satellite. But when you got a rotor head turning over the top of you, that it really wreaked havoc on these satellite providers. The Black Hawk isn't the only platform XP works on. It's converted helicopters made by Bell, Airbus, and Leonardo. And it also works on fixed-wing aircraft as large as the Airbus A319 and the Boeing 777 airliners. 